Jenny Bunnies, welcome back. It's me, Jenny. How is everyone doing today? Okay, my loves, we are going to be doing a really easy and like literally laid back tutorial. I, I think this is a really good, simple tutorial. And I love doing these because it kind of like makes you want to use your little stash of stuff that you have in your craft room. So, what am I talking about? I know that us crafty people love to buy things in dupes, right? When I go to the dollar store, if I find a sticker that I really love, I most of the time buy either two or four of the same stickers. So at the end of the day, you wind up with so many stickers at home, you love them, but you really don't really use them as you should, right? So that's the same thing that I have going on. Um, not to mention that my mom also buys me a lot of stickers. I have um, my co-workers who are awesome who also buys me stickers so I have stickers coming from like every direction which I love I absolutely love but at the end of the day um, you want to make sure you're using all these fantastic supplies you just don't want them sitting there right so I just got these stickers from my mom and I said to myself wait I have these already I remember buying these stickers at the Dollar Tree a few months ago so I was kind of thinking to myself, how can I kind of like make use out of these stickers, right? So I came up with the idea of trying to turn regular stickers into Halloween inspired. Now, it could be any other, like any other um, season. It could be Christmas, it could be Valentine's Day, it could be a birthday, it could be a wedding, it could be a baby shower. Um, you can literally turn these stickers um, to whatever event that you're working with. The reason why I'm saying Halloween because obviously we're doing a Halloween project, but keep that keep in mind that it can definitely be changed for different things. Now I'm gonna show you how I turn these really fun um, little kind of like flag stickers into the Halloween inspired stickers. Very simple and very easy with very little supply. All you need are little tiny scrap of paper. You're working on a Halloween project and you have these little tiny scraps of paper lying around. Take those papers and use them to create these because nothing more frust nothing frustrates me the most when I have these little tiny papers that I don't want to throw away but I don't know what to do with them, right? This is a great opportunity to get rid of all these little scraps of paper that we have, okay, honeys? So here I have four that I already pre-did um, earlier so I can save some time. But I'm going to show you very simple how to do this, okay? The first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the top. Now these stickers have two layers, it has the bottom part and then the top part. You're going to remove very simple and easy and very carefully the top part of your sticker which is this one right here. Now these are awesome to save for other projects so do not throw these away. These are fabulous to save for other projects, okay? So that's the first thing you're going to do. You're going to remove the top part of these stickers, okay? Then you're going to take them as samples. These are going to be what's going to guide you to create your own little embellishments that are Halloween inspired, okay? So here I have one that I already removed and what I did was I also already removed the button in the side. So all you gotta do is just basically take the little button and very carefully try to pull apart the button. Now these buttons can be reused for other projects so make sure you don't throw these away, okay? Put them in a little side, a little dish, or somewhere where you can use them for other projects. Now, this also has um, foam tape on the back. I would suggest to also pull very carefully the foam tape. Now, can you reuse these foam tapes? Yes. If you pull them carefully enough, you might be able to reuse them using hot glue. So, another thing that you can, you know, keep your eye on. If you don't have foam tape, then reuse these. Just make sure you pull them out very carefully. And then when you're ready to place them back, just use a little dab of hot glue on one end, a little dab of hot glue on the other end, and there you go, okay? So once you do that, you should have yourself a little template to create, very simple. So what we're going to do here is, let me pull you a little bit close to me, okay. Take your paper that you're going to use and you're just going to basically 
use it as a little template and you're just gonna basically cut around that's all you're doing see just cut around and then you're gonna basically just cut to make your little flag the right size okay And there you go. And that is how you create the same little embellishment only with Halloween inspired paper. You see that? How easy that was? I love it, right? Perfect. So now that we did that, so we have here our little, um, little flags that we already cut, right? So let's put them together. So I'm gonna use double sided tape. Let me use this one. Since I already have this here, why not, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little dab on one end of hot glue, and I'm going to glue this down to my paper. And then I'm gonna use the other and then I'm gonna add it here. And then I'm gonna add this right back to the little um, sticker, okay? So I'm gonna use hot glue. Because it's not really sticky anymore. So the hot glue is gonna help you with this, with adhering it to the backing. See that? And there you have it. This is beautiful, I love it. So I'm gonna start doing these right here, but I'm going to use my um my foam um my little foam tape that i have here that i buy from the dollar tree i hope you guys can see me let me move this a little bit up so you can see me there okay so i'm going to add two of these per little flaggies And then you can you can use these little embellishments in so many ways. Um, it's really it's really a nice way to save yourself money. Also, like let's say maybe you don't have a really big selection of Halloween um, crafting items. This is a really good way to save yourself some money and get you started, right? Um, get you started in the right direction okay perfect let's remove the backing and let's start gluing these babies down I like to use tape um, I'm sorry not tape I like to use my glue because I kind of want to make sure that this is not gonna go anywhere so that's why I use my hot glue but in reality you really don't have to Okay, so this one is going to go like this. We got two more to go. Here, let me remove this. We got these two more to go. Now, if you haven't, like, maybe you're doing, like, um, snail mail to one of your friends or your uh, crafty, you know, friends, this is awesome to add as a snail uh, mail idea. Yes. Happy mail. This is awesome. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is why you have to be super careful because see what happened here? With this one, if I put this down like this, this is gonna be backwards. This should, this should have been like this. See that? But because I wasn't careful with how I was cutting it, I cut it wrong. So make sure that you don't do that same mistake, okay? That I did. I guess it doesn't really matter. You can obviously, let's see, 
can you turn it that way i guess you could turn it that way but just be careful the way your face the way your um design is is being faced to you when you when you're looking at it make sure it's facing correctly okay okay and there you have it see that oh my gosh that came out so cute you guys look how cute these turned out oh my god from a dollar tree sticker this is beautiful how are we gonna finish these babies off is with buttons the same way that these have buttons we're going to add buttons to these now i also have some other stuff here that we're going to add which i thought would be a great idea but for now let's add let's see here one two three four five i have three of these and then okay so i'm going to add two buttons to these and let's see which is the buttons i'm going to add i think i'm going to add buttons on this one I need to add two buttons and on this one I'm gonna add a button see how cute that looks same thing as this one but only orange buttons because this is Halloween inspired now for these three I want to show you something that I also came up with you can also add stickers in the little corner of your little flag these are tiny stickers i know it wasn't really tiny at first these are just like these um foam cat stickers that i got from the dollar tree um last year what i did was i chopped off the body i know i'm so mean but i needed the head of the cat so i chopped off the body of the cat i'm very sorry but I needed to do that in order to add the cute cat face to my little embellishment. Because if I added the whole cat, it may have, I don't know, I guess it doesn't really matter. It depends on your taste. But I think it's too big. To me, it's too big. So I just prefer to have the little cat face on there, okay? So that's what I'm going to use for... Um, for this one right here because it's orange and the black kind of stands out a little so I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue to the cat and she's gonna go right in this corner instead of the buttons look how cute that looks for these two I already have something in mind I have these that are remember we talked about these earlier on another video let me see if I can grab it these are the rings, these plastic little ringies that we buy at the Dollar Tree. So here I have a spider and here I have a bat. All I did was I chopped the back of the of ring to make it kind of like a little embellishment so I can glue this down to my little flag. That's all I did. So here, we're going to add this one to this one right here. right in the corner now I gotta tell you the truth I would recommend if you can get a little tiny piece of felt glue it in the back of these plastic little um, rings and then use the felt to glue it onto your paper would be a better idea because the felt is a fabric that really holds well and it definitely will not fall apart so keep that in mind um i prefer especially if you're going to mail these out i think if you add a little tiny piece of felt to the back of the plastic little embellishment and then adhere that to the paper you will really have a, a very sturdy um embellishment okay just a thought okay and there you have it oh my gosh look at these embellishments how beautiful they turned out these stickers are absolutely gorgeous I am loving all of them do you see how simple that was to create with already stickers that we have in a little I know you guys have tons of stickers that you can definitely do something like this too i think it's a great idea it absolutely helps with the um you know with using the stickers that you're not 
currently using right now and it saves you money you don't have to go and buy like specific halloween stickers when you can create them yourself i love it right okay that's it that's all i gotta show you i hope you enjoy um watching me make these adorable actually not make them kind of just tweak them a little right because i didn't make these i just tweaked them a little um but i hope this helps someone who maybe is I'm looking for some ideas for the Halloween, um, you know, maybe you want to do something like a, I don't know, a, a happy meal, or maybe you want to just have your Halloween embellishment grow. This is a fabulous way to do it. Okay, my loves, I hope you enjoy um, this video. Make sure you let me know what you guys think about these adorable little um, stickers. Make sure you thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Um, do you guys want to see more? Do you think um, it's a good idea to show you more of these um, how to turn regular stickers into Halloween inspired stickers? What do you guys think? Thumbs up and let me know, okay? I will do that for you if you guys want to see more. I love you all. Have a fantastic weekend. Thank you so much for returning. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for liking. And, um, and yeah, honey bunnies, I will see you soon. Love you all and please be safe out there.